Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a PHP script that will identify the browser that the user is using. Um, in this tutorial I'm only going to be covering two browsers, um, Internet Explorer and Firefox. Um, but you can use this for other browsers such as Safari um, and other browsers I don't really know anymore to be honest. Um, so, let's get started. If I load up a new script and if I just save this out as uh, index.php because it's inside a folder called browser id uh, if you're not using folders then just call it something like browser id.php um, so if I uh, refresh this page in um, Internet Explorer we get nothing and Firefox we get nothing because there's nothing there Right. If I create my PHP tags here, and basically we're just going to um, create a new variable here called um, browser underscore id, and that's going to be equal to server. And this basically just gets any information about the um, about the user's um, browser. It's basically the browser ID, which is why I've put it in a variable called browser ID. And um, so, I've created our variable now. So if we create an if statement here, and um, but if I just show you what that comes out like first. So if I go echo browser underscore ID. And if I echo this out, we get a load of random stuff. And in Firefox, refresh, and we get that. Basically, in every um, in every one of these codes, there is something that rep that will give away what browser the user is using. As you can see, we've got Mozilla in there, which is Mozilla Firefox. But we've also got Mozilla there. But um, in this, you've got um, MSIE for Microsoft Internet Explorer which then gives away that the user is using Internet Explorer and in Firefox you've got near the end Firefox right there okay so what we need to do then is uh, just give this echo so we're just going to create an if statement so if I'm just going to create a string position so if anywhere in the in all of this code if anywhere in all of that um well first of all we need to put um browser underscore id so if anywhere in that there is a keyword say um msie in capitals so msie so if there's anywhere in there that says msid msie we're going to say that we want to create a new variable that the browser is equal to um microsoft internet explorer and um we're just going to copy this down just to save a bit of time um, just move that back on there. I'm going to create an else if right here. So if it has got Firefox in there, because we've got Firefox right there. Um, so if if anywhere in that code is Firefox, then the um, then the browser is Firefox, and then. Um, I'm just going to create an else um, to say um, browser. So if MSIE and Firefox are not found, then the browser is therefore unknown. Um, if I just take off that capital, because we're going to be put in, we're going to then echo out to the user. Um, your browser is, and I'm going to put in here browser. That's basically your script. So if I now refresh 
um, save it out. If I refresh this, I get your browser is Microsoft Internet Explorer and on Firefox, your browser is Firefox. Now I haven't got any other um, browser, so if I say to download Safari, hopefully it won't take too long. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll pause the video and I'll download Safari and then I'll show you how it comes up as. Okay, so I have uh, just downloaded and ins installed Safari. So if I load it up, um, I've not upload, I've not opened it yet, so I have no idea what it's doing. Uh, please wait while Windows configures Safari. Um, Okay, I'll uh, I'll pause the video again and wait till it comes up. Okay, so I uh, I've got Safari to uh, to work now. So if I um, if I load up localhost and go to browser ID, as you can see, your browser is unknown because I've not specified um, Safari in the in the code here so that's basically just how to um, identify the user's browser and tell the brow tell the user which browser they're using without a long list of information which is just this bit here so if I just um, echo out browser underscore id again and refresh that so instead of and if I just uh, paragraph that off there. so instead of showing the user all this information we're telling the user specifically and easily what the browser is so uh, yeah that's basically the whole tutorial uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time